Hello there everyone, how are we all doing today? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am making a fairy's house in The Sims 4. So I actually did this like ages ago, I made a fairy, but I thought with the release of the new high school pack and all the beautiful items that came with that, I thought I'd give it a try again because, I mean, it came with so many like boho items that could easily be transmitted into a fairy house, so I thought let's just do it again. Because the one I did last time, it was really, really basic. It just used a lot of cottage living and stuff like that. This one uses a lot of cottage living again. But also the stuff from different packs that I've gained over like the past, I don't know, like six months or so. Um, so it definitely looks a lot better now. And I'm really proud of it. I really liked how it turned out. I thought I'd build it like on a pond because I just thought that was adorable. At first I was going to do something with rounded rooms, but because it's quite a small house... I just couldn't get it to fit like at all and it was really really bugging me so I just kind of gave up in the end. This house is available on my gallery, my ID is kelskeenan727, I have not playtested it so that could be an issue but I think it will be okay because I've used like mostly items from the game, it should be fine but I haven't playtested it so that's something to bear in mind. Um. I decided to build it on a lake because I thought that was just super super cute and I feel like they would have a very like enclosed thing like i don't know how to describe it but i feel like they would absolutely want to live off the land and like away from everyone and just keep secrets so i thought it was really really cute doing it like that and it made a lot of sense to the storyline as well um but yeah i absolutely adored this house if you want me to do anything like this again please let me know i'm thinking of doing other occults with it maybe like vampires or werewolves and stuff like that obviously a fairy isn't an occult that's in the game yet Please EA, put fairies in the game again because we need them back after The Sims 3. But yeah, because they're not in the game, I thought I'd branch out a little bit and try and make it. So if you want me to do any at all, anything at all, please let me know in the description down below. Because I honestly, I love to hear your point of view and what you have to say. And I do try and implement them in the videos as well. Um, so please just let me know because I am super interested to see what you guys want to see. Um, I was trying to find the tree that came with, what's it called, Cottage Living. Do you know like how you pre-order Cottage Living, you get like a tree and like you've got a gnome and stuff like that. I can't quite remember now, but I couldn't find that tree anywhere and it was really annoying me because I thought it fit in really well with this house, but I just could not find it. So I was a bit annoyed at that, but I used the one that came with Movie Hangout stuff, which honestly just as cute. I was going to go with like a crazy colour like the purple swatch or the blue swatch but I thought honestly if this fairy is trying to keep hidden they would want something that's more natural and fits into the more natural environment so yeah that's what I went with in the end and it looks really really cute anyway so I had nothing to worry about in the end. Um, it is quite a simplistic house for the interior it's quite basic but very cosy very cute um and yeah i really enjoyed doing this like it was such a fun build to do and i can't wait to do something like this again i feel like it has been so long since i've built something apart from like rooms and stuff like that that i've put on shorts and stuff like that but this made me feel good this made me feel happy again because i love building in this game i love absolutely nothing more than it because it just lets you open up and just be creative with things but you don't really get that with a lot of the other elements in the game. For example, gameplay. There's only so far that you can be creative with that. And like also with Creator Sim, unless you've got CC, which I don't, then there's not really much you can do. Like, I know you can do like the basic things, but I don't know, with like character design and stuff, you have to be so, so lucky to find exactly what you want for your characters. It's like... I'm doing a series at the moment where I do the alphabet challenge, like the TikTok challenge basically, but in The Sims. And I'm finding it really difficult because there's just nothing that I want that fits the characters, if that makes sense. I don't know. Very, very confusing and I don't really like it as much. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching today. If you like my content, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. As I said, this is in my gallery. My ID is kelskeenan727, which is in the description down below, as well as all my social medias. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all next time.